Hi everyone, this is Derek here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. And today I'm going to share with you my own personal experience on uh, how I get the inspiration and motivation to start a project. Or how I actually uh, got some ideas and I actually put it into action. I believe most of the people, including you, have experienced this before. There's an idea within you that comes up. You, you see something. Yet, for, for some reason, you didn't let it out. You didn't take action. And then, like probably months later or years later, you still start seeing somebody do it. And, and then you ask yourself, why didn't I do? <laughs> Does it happen to you? It happens to me a lot of times. And, and this is the time that I start asking myself, why? Why is it that I, I actually put aside all this thing? And this is just uh, some reasons that I can think of now and probably I have uh, realized by myself and, and there may be other reasons but it may apply to you or not but whatever that I'm going to share is just because based on my own personal experience. Yes, the number one thing that I know is I tend to overthink. What do I mean by overthink? Overthink means that I, whenever a new idea comes out, right, I start thinking, I got excited for a while. And then when I start my planning stage, right, and then it's like, oh, say, there's more and more things, there's more and more things. Then it's like, uh-oh, how can I ever going to do this? Given my resources now, how am I going to do that? You, you, you know, that's, this is the type of overthink that we start thinking of, okay, I'm going to need a lot of money, I'm going to need a lot of support, but I really can't find anything now. Then how? Mm -hmm. Don't do lah. That's the easy way out, isn't it? The second thing is that uh, I am in a very, very comfort zone. So what does comfort zone mean? I'm too used to my lifestyle. I'm too used to my routine. And whenever something comes in that wants to shake my routine, or I have to do something, do some changes in my life, I suddenly feel so uneasy. And then for whatever reason, I will give myself all sorts of excuses and I will not do it. The third reason that I actually found out for myself is I have to be perfect or rather everything, the conditions have to be perfect before I can do this. I must have that money coming in. I must find that good team members or rather I must find whatever when, when time available. Do you actually have this feeling that whenever you push aside something and then for whatever reason, you start to feel unhappy. Or rather, it's not really unhappy, but probably unfulfilled. You have this unfulfillment within yourself. And then you start asking yourself that, what if I could have done that? Will my life change? Will I be happier? Now, I'm going to share with you how I actually start my project. Okay, first, I actually take action. You know, when I wanted to do this uh, video thing that I can share all my experiences, my lessons or whatever that I wanted to bring across to you, I really have no experience. I really have no idea what I want to do. And based on my own past experience, I really don't want to procrastinate anymore. So I actually take action. I really take a, a very small action by going to get a microphone. <laughs> no, no, it's just, I have no idea. I just go and buy a microphone first. And then I tell myself that since I started this, this is the first step. And this should keep the momentum going. And, and it really inspired me because that uh, when I get a microphone, I start getting the, the my selfie stick. I start doing a lot of things. I start doing a lot of research. And then, it comes to a point that I even started my first video, which most of you have probably watched before. <laughs> if not, you can watch it again. And it is really, okay, I'm very happy I did that. And uh, so the second step, accountability. I actually share with people around me what I want to do. And I get them to account, yeah, and, and get me accountable that uh, I, I make sure that I do this thing. I even share on uh, my social media that I actually bought a microphone. 
so that I ask people to like you to stay tuned to my exciting podcast and videos. And I know whenever I say something, I got to do it. And yes, it's like a motivation for me to start something. So the number three is actually adjust. Adjust. What do we mean by adjust? You know, things don't just start and then it will go so perfectly well one. If you ever had the experience of creating a project or start whatever, I can tell you hiccups will be everywhere. There will be harms, there will be stones, there will be blockages, there will be a lot of things that will start to arise that will stop us from continue doing what we are doing. One. And, and because of whatever that we feel like uh, making this thing or this project very perfect in the beginning, we will lose motivation. As, actually for me, uh, when, I, when I start a project in the past, there will be a point that I overthink and I want things to be... Oh, it, it don't look very perfect for me. And, and based on my most recent experience, right, my first video was actually very... Uh, when I was re-watching, I realized that my video was actually shaking. I don't know is it because I take the selfie stick and it's shaking or or I'm just too nervous when I was facing that uh, video or, or the camera. And based on adjustment, and after I watched it, I don't let that put me down. I immediately, I immediately think of what I can do next so that I don't repeat this, this uh, so-called experience again. A and I went out today and actually to get a, a tripod. So now I have a tripod. And, and because of this uh, tripod, right, I believe that my, my video now is more stable already, right? Yes. So that's called adjust. Things don't, things don't really go according to what we think it will. It will change. So, but the thing is, we must be open to feedbacks and to unpleasant experiences. And then we make adjustment along the way. So once we can actually make adjustment along the way, we are actually tuning ourselves to become better. We learn and we get better. And that's how many people actually so-called success, gain success in life. They don't give up. They just do something, they get themselves do. And then if things don't work out, they see what's, what's going on, they get the feedback, and then they make the necessary adjustment, and they just continue doing. Before I end this video, I actually want to do uh, share with you some of the things that I do. Whenever I feel like uh, there's a fear coming up, or there's worries or concerns that, that arise within me. So this is the, the, the things that I will do, and uh, probably you can start doing it now. First, then, Okay, normally when, when, when things, when emotion starts to come out and I know that this is going to stop me from doing, I will actually, I will actually center myself and I will actually take a deep breath in. If you want, you can actually take a deep breath in now. Hold it there, hold it there. And then just be with that feeling. And then, just imagine everything going away. Just let it all out. <sighs> just let it all out. You know, and then I start my, my first so-called affirmation. Whatever it is, I do it anyway. Yeah, that's the first affirmation that I do. And then I take another deep breath in again. Hold it there. Ah, <sighs> let it all out. And then I tell myself I am open for support. Yes, I'm open for support. I ask for support. I ask for help. And then I just take in another deep breath again. And hold it there. And then just let everything go. And then I just tell myself, I allow life to flow. Yes, I believe everything that happens now is perfectly in the right timing. Everything that happens now is meant to happen at this moment and it's meant to happen for me. Let's just recap the three steps that I use 
to help me to kickstart my own project and ideas. Okay, first, take action. No matter how big, how small, start doing something. And then get that idea out. Two, accountability. Find someone to, ac- to, to make you accountable. Okay, it can be a social media, it can be your family and friends and loved one, and make sure that these people that you talk to, they are the one that are willing to support you and not giving you all sorts of ideas that, ah, this thing don't work. You know, you want people to support your ideas. And number three is adjustment. Yes, start doing something along the way, be open to feedbacks, and then just let the feedbacks come in and don't take things too personally. Just allow him to come and then you make the necessary adjustment and you just move on. Thank you so much for taking the time for watching this video. And I actually did a, a lot of NGs here and, and it's, it's like, oh, I'm very emotional now that I come to the end here. <laughs> so thank you so much and do give me some uh, comments on uh, how I actually can improve on uh, my videos or, or you can even share with me that what kind of projects that you're working on now and if you need some other advisors you can comment below and I will give you I will get back to you as soon as I saw it and do follow me on my Facebook or um, you can even subscribe to my YouTube whatever it is have a great day and remember, start doing something today that will make you become the happiest person you can ever be. Goodbye! Yeah, so apparently, yes, with a selfie stick and this is my first video. And uh, yeah, I just finished doing a meditation and I can tell you I really took a lot of shots to 